Come on in. How you doing? I just kind of line up here, and I'll kind of, I'll kind of just uh, talk a little bit about. Well, first of all, you know, Margie, you know, see here. Well, the Margie's our new director of accounting. Uh, this is Carol Benner, our new director of operations. So you've been here for two months now. Yes, yes, sir. Heard of this? Time flies. Time flies. But uh, uh, and again, uh, he's getting his his hands very dirty, and uh, he's, he's really jumped on all the HVAC. And this this issue, this facility has a lot of HVAC things we wondered about. And he's, we're getting a very good handle on HVAC and the, the programming and the and the uh, and the actual hardware in addition to the programming. And, uh, and just uh, we've got uh, you know, a lot of good things going on in that area. But uh, uh, we're in good hands. And, and again, Carol's been with us now for two months. Uh, next we have uh, Jeanette Stensgard. She's our new conference service manager, kind of the person that does works a lot with event planning and, and working on helping customers. Basically, the person that takes information from the customers and gets it out to everybody else in here, so they know what to do, what kind of food, has, what kind of food when it goes out, where it goes out, how the rooms have to be set uh, for Carol and the operations crew and all that good stuff. And Jeanette has been with us for what uh, two months as well. They yeah, they came on right at the same time. Sandra, I think you all met briefly at one point when we got director sales. Sandra came to us in December. Is it now? Uh, November. November. Four months? Yeah, it seems like four years. <laughs> <laughs> uh, 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 Sandra's been with us now for several months as well. And uh, one thing Sandra's been very busy with is developing, you know, these are kind of collateral material for the tourism side, but we've got a new wedding package now that we have that's in a kit. Uh, she's done that. We've got a meeting planner kit that's under development. She also, on the rainwater site, she's had a lot of input on the rainwater site development. Uh, just as Tyra does on the Visit Valdosta side, kind of the tourism side of things. And, and when we have these meetings with uh, the ad development we've talked about, these publications, we all get together. Actually, people have met with the, the advertising crew. Really, it's been me and Sandra and Tyra and uh, our executive chef, Tim Wade, because he's got a lot of experience in the industry. So we kind of uh, have those four people. So it's not like a, you know, Sandra kind of knows what's going on on the tourism side, Tyra knows what's going on on the, the rainwater conference side of things. We try to all keep everybody, you know, up to snow. Tyra? Step out a little bit, let everybody see Tyra. Uh, Tyra's been obviously Tyra to here, you know, uh, longer than any of us. But Tyra's our director of tourism. Uh, she handles all the uh, tourism travel shows, uh, handles all the leads that come in from uh, both the tourism side and we, and we do a proposal on the meeting side but that involves hotels. She helps Sandra communicate with all the hotels, uh, get all that done, and uh, and uh, the uh, uh, and then she works with us on the. Anything tourism side on the marketing, we, we kind of, you know, it gets bounced amongst several of us, but Tyra's a key part of that in terms of the tourism side. Uh, then we have our executive chef, Tim Wade, who's also been with us now since uh, June of 2008, July. Uh, but uh, and again, the, the, I, I tell people all the time, you know, doing food for the masses is not an easy thing. You know, it's one thing to put it out for 12 people in a breakfast, but doing it for 600, and I mentioned we had 653 times last week. That was a, that was a busy week, a tough week for everybody. But uh, the, uh, the, you uh, know, uh, we generally get very good reviews on our food. Again, putting food out for 600 and having it be good and hot and, uh, and tasty, you all, you all experience it on a regular basis too. But uh, Tim handles all that. Not just the, the food preparation, he also has to administer, you know, staffing is a challenge in that department. That, that department is our largest in terms of use of part-time help. So there's a, there's a lot of, uh, I don't say a lot of turnover, but you have a lot of change in that department all the time. So he has to kind of stay on top of that. And I told somebody, if I knew how to cook, I wouldn't have had to order for 600 people. The, the, the grocery list for 600 has to be something that's hard to even, even come up with. But Tim is kind of our, uh, you know, we call him executive chef. He's really like the food and beverage manager. He's over all aspects of food and beverage. Everything that relates to uh, how we handle alcohol in the building and those things. And uh, But this is basically the, the, the folks that, you know, start things happening in this building. And I think we've got a good crew. and. Uh, I think we're kind of we're kind of at the point where we're getting ready to kind of hit our stride. We've got a lot of all the, all the cylinders are in the engine now. We just got to kind of kind of start revving it a little bit. So uh, but anyway, I want them all to come in and you know get to see the most of it. So you kind of put a, when you see when you see them, you'll kind of be able to put a name with the face and at least know in general kind of where they work and what they do you know, in the facility and within the tourism authority umbrella. Uh, so they, and it's called it's kind of until you get in and understand it. We're kind of a hybrid beast in the sense that we have the CDB side. That, the, rainwater side, but we still all work for the same organization. One thing I would say for all of these folks, uh, they are great at the, uh, we realize being small, we need kind of the cross training aspect. And I've told, uh, uh, Tyra's been interviewing people for the front desk, that you know, I told you we had, and, and one thing we mentioned to them is, this is a building where everybody has to jump in on anything at any time. Um, yes, we have salespeople and events people to show customers rooms, uh, but you know, I've seen Tyra out showing the place on the patio, because. If somebody walks in and they're either busy or out to lunch, we still only have you know a couple. So the uh, 
And when you're not, you know, anybody can show them but, you know, Tyra jumps in on that, I jump in on that. I've seen Tim Wade showing rooms before, too. So it's a, you know, it's, it's a good, uh, you know, everybody has to be willing to do everything here. And, and they all know that and understand that. And, uh, and like I say, we're, uh, we feel like we've uh, got a lot of the pieces of the puzzle are in place now. So we're uh, hopefully going to see some uh, you know, even more significant progress that we move forward. But I want them to kind of uh, see the the big things in the organization, so now they know, they know you and you know them. But anyway, well, I appreciate y'all coming. I'm actually going to, we're actually taking pictures of all of them today right after this for the, for the new website, the, the staff contact side. I just going to have their picture title and their and, and email button. <laughs> and also, both of our websites, which I've never had before, they're going to have information on the Tourism Authority itself. Uh, we're going to put a lot of information back to you on the end of the public guide, but at least we will know how it's structured, you know, that the city appoints so many, the county, how, how the organization is structured, who the people are that serve on our board and, and when the meetings occur on a regular basis, which I know when people try to find that out, you know, we, we, our current websites have, uh, have been remiss and not had any of that information on it. So we're going to fix that on both our websites, on uh, both sides as well. Anyway, we'll get information about everybody here from here, uh, even the tourism authority says. Well, that's it. I just want to thank you, thank you all for coming. And thank well, you. Good you morning. I just want to say, Tim and your team, Buzz around town, but 